2023. And uh, a little bit of a tan today. Well, I've been, you know, I just added to it today. Went to the ballpark, watched a baseball game, and, uh, you know, it was great. A little, a little sunny, a little, a little sunny out there, but uh, nice, you know. the The company paid for the ticket and lunch, and m- much obliged, much appreciated. Ran into somebody that I haven't seen in at least thirty five years. Great to catch up, and um, you know, then I come home to technical problems with the garage it's always something you know it's always something but i'm happy to sit down here as i do most evenings and work on a painting because as i say if i didn't sit down here and turn the camera on and start talking and talking through it i might be inclined to not do this i'm more inclined to do it if if I turn the camera on. So that's, you know, it's a motivator for me. That's it. That said, you know, think about, you know, doing that and, and following along on, uh, you know, subscribing to whatever service you're watching this on. I also have a mailing list in the description on Substack. I try to send something out every week, but not, not always. So, This is, and I've got it masked off here a little bit because I don't want to be distracted too much. And this turned out great. And um, I think I'm going to leave that as it is there because this will be cropped on the side here. This is sort of the bleed area. And then I've got a little bit of bleed area here, but I want to work on the ground tonight. Love the sky. Love the tree. Got to work on this here a little bit, right? So cheers, yeah. Let's see what I can turn it into. I want to. I want it to be a little, not like this. Let's let me use this. uh, See if I can get anything out of this yellow here. I just want to kind of green it up a little bit with yellow. You green it up a little bit with yellow. Yeah, why not? We are having a little bit of a drought around here lately. Some people were telling me today, they're like, oh, I can walk across the river. It's probably true. I've been down the river lately. They're like, yeah, there's not there's not that much in the river. I went across the river the other day and there was a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Office chair. There was an office chair on the roller dam, stuck on the end of the roller dam, just sitting there. office chair just sitting there on the end of the roller dam they threw that chair in the river or something stuck there at the end of the roller dam or at the top of the roller dam not quite over the roller dam you really don't want to get you really don't want to be in a roller dam because then you're going to get that you know vortex or whatever i don't know do i leave that i'm gonna leave that green there in the distance And then I want it to be kind of scraggly here. So what I've got here, and I, I maybe I need to explain this if you haven't watched this, these videos before here, is um, this is from an original photograph by me. And um, I did a little manipulation to it in software. So it kind of looks sort of grainy, black and white. And then I print it off using the thermal ribbon printer onto what's called spun bonded olefin, which is a synthetic paper. And uh, then after that, I apply acrylic ink and acrylic paint. Is this the same? 
yellow, cadmium yellow light, or primary yellow. Well, they're a little bit different. Why am I buying all these weird? Ooh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Watch out, Rushton. Watch out here. See if I can get any paint out of here. I'll get a little air going. There we go. There we go. There we go. I need to be super careful. I guess maybe I'm shooting for kind of a luminous hue. And I like it to be smoothed in real nicely here. I don't know. What do I know? Wait a second. That's that's kind of good. Butter your bread. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just trying. Trying different things here. I don't know what works. If anybody wants to tell me what works, I, you know, that's fine. And so the great thing about that spun bonded olefin, which is this, uh, synthetic paper that I use here is it's it's you could just beat it just beat it no one wants to be defeated showing how funky and strong is your fight doesn't matter who's wrong or right so yeah you know I'm just working on it here I do like to use the to smooth it out. Maybe I'm just not very talkative tonight. I, I don't know. Come home. Garage door problems. Really? Garage door is not barely a year old. Barely a year old. Already got problems with the garage door. It goes up, it goes down. Previous house I live in, I who knows how old that garage door was. It, it might have been original original equipment. No, it wasn't because it had the little uh, what do you call that? The laser beams. Those came out, I think, in the nineties. Or maybe I'm I'm not quite sure when. It was it was getting a little aged. You know, I was always worried that it was gonna go. But it never did. It always worked. Some garage doors can last a long, long time. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm rambling. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that paint there. Come on, guys. There we go. We got it. I might be happy with that. Let's take this masking off here because it's uh, compromised. Let's put on a new masking. And that didn't work. Quiet out there tonight. Oh, my God. Okay, so we'll put this masking on here. Where's my tape? New tape. Got it at where? Ace. Did I get it? Did I get this at Ace Hardware? I think I did.
I guess I could put it on the side too, right? You know, why not? I don't know. Let's get all confused here. Paint, ink. So a little bit of bleed edge there. Get rid of the bleed edge. You do it like that. Does that look good? That looks goofy. That looks good. I can't do that. How's this camera here? All over the road map. That that's nice. That's good. That's good. That'll it'll come to here on the side. So this would be like about here to here. It's a four uh four tall or sorry. Four wide three tall aspect ratio. So it's a four to three aspect ratio that I'll crop this after it's scanned. And then um, does that look a little weird? No, because I got that over there. It does look a little weird. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing, nothing you can do about it. Did I do that? No, that was already there. That's one of the fibers. So these are the fibers, right? These are the olefin fibers. And then, of course, I've got too much paint on here, too much ink and paint on here for the fibers to come out. Down here, again, this is the thermal printing with the ink and paint on top. So not everything's kind of the same. That's going to be nice. It's just a nice... Colorful picture. You know, my wife and I were at, uh, what's the store called? At Home. It's like a Pier 1 on steroids. Of course, Pier 1 isn't around anymore. And they had, like, just aisle after aisle of art, right? But it was that monochromatic stuff for your, for your you know, there, nothing had any color in it. Literally, nothing had any color. And I understand that, you know, it's cheap art. It's made in a Chinese factory or prison or something. And, but none of it had a, really any color. There was no, no color in your life. At least this has a little color in your life. You got a blue sky. You got a red tree. You got kind of a yellow, ground, yellow and greenish ground. I'm very of the seasons. I'm very inspired by the seasons around me. Uh, you know, in a few months here, everything's going to be white because everything's white. It's just the, I just react to nature. It's the way I go. I don't know. That's good. I at first I thought I muddled it, and then the way I did the the, the red and the orange last night, I'm very happy with my work there. And this down here, I just wanted this kind of. A little bit more yellow and a little bit more kind of wispy. Just I, I just wanted to convey the the look of of drought. Kind of like some sections are droughty, you know. Dormant grass goes dormant. It doesn't die. It goes dormant. That's what happens. It's a self-preserving nature, you know, all the, uh, all the, you know, sugars and everything that are in the, in the plant. They're just like, we're going down the roots. We're going down the roots. We're just going to, you know, save it until next year. Can't blame the plant. Anyway, this is Mark Rushton, markrushtongallery.com. My God, no, I don't think hardly anybody showed up. It doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Third evening on the same painting. I, it needed it. It needed it. I'm happy with it. This one's ready for the scanner. It, it, I'll scan it tomorrow. All right. Mark Rushton, Mark Rushton Gallery. Talk to you later.